sovereign will and infinite wisdom, He raised up a man of God from the Philippines and sent him to bring salvation to the lost souls, healing to all the sick and afflicted, absolute freedom to those who are bound by evil spirits, prosperity to those who are poor, apostolic revival unto perfection, living like Jesus to the church around the world. Apostle Renato D. Carillo And these are the days of Apostle Carillo We're living like Jesus is real And these are the days of the harvest The fields are wide in the world And we are the sons of Apostle all over Prepare ye the way of the Lord. His ministry touching the world. The man of God was born on the 17th of December, year 1958, in Quezon City, Philippines. But his life took on a completely significant meaning when he received Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal Savior on the 12th of January, year 1986. From that moment of his salvation, his life has been fully dedicated to God. Sometime on June 1988, while he was praying, he received a specific mandate from the Lord saying, Son, build me a true church. Teach my people to love me, serve me, worship me, and obey me. Teach them to live like me, and present perfect church to me in my coming. Impelled by his fervent love to God and great burden for souls, he immediately obeyed God and left his business and extravagant life. With major beginning, he pioneered Jesus is Our Shield Worldwide Ministries at the street. In his early years of ministry, he faced tremendous oppositions, accusations, and persecutions. But he remained steadfast and faithful to the mandate and God gave him victory against all odds. From 15 members, it has steadily increased to hundreds, to thousands, and to thousands upon thousands as he preaches powerful, straightforward, and uncompromised message of salvation, healing, deliverance, blessing, and apostolic revival with a manifestation of God's amazing power and glory. Men and women, old and young alike, experience the compelling love and grace of God as He holds Oras na Himala miracle after miracle explosion and the Living Like Jesus conferences in various churches. Gymnasiums. Open air auditoriums. Houses Restaurants Jails
Rehabilitation Centers, Offices, and even at the camps of the Philippine National Police and the armed forces of the Philippines. He also shares God's love in different occasions such as weddings, birthdays, and child dedications, business dedications, and even funerals. The sick and the afflicted are gloriously healed. The oppressed, abandoned, broken-hearted, hopeless, and bound with sins are changed. And the church is truly blessed and revived. The impact of his ministry spread throughout the nation and invaded nations. And in just two decades, he has successfully established hundreds of chapters nationwide and abroad with millions of Living Like Jesus congregations. life has been sacrificially dedicated in training and spiritual equipping thousands of pastors, full-time workers, and even the young people. And the congregations to reach the whole world for Christ with the demonstration of supernatural gifts God's power and glory. His teachings have also blessed millions upon millions of lives all over the world. Through Oras ng Himala, radio, television, and cable television programs. The internet broadcast. The Living Like Jesus Satellite Network and the audio-video recordings were in God's awesome glory and remarkable signs, wonders, and miracles take place. He has authored several life-changing and soul-enriching books, booklets, magazines, and pamphlets translated in different languages. He also has the anointed prayer club wrapped with tremendous power through prayer and fasting which bring powerful testimonies of all kinds of miracles. His ministry is also engaged in mission of love, love in action, the crisis relief, feeding and clothing program which reaches out innumerable precious souls living in desperate conditions.
His life impacting the world. Through the supernatural works of God in the life of the man of God, countless of precious souls have graciously thanked God. Numerous prayer requests from different races are brought to Him through long-distance calls, text messages, snail mails, and emails. And all God's answer to their prayers have been frequently resounded. As crowd had chased and touched Jesus during His earthly ministry, expecting various miracles to happen, this same experience is taking place in the life of the man of God. People from all walks of life chase after Him during every service at the ministry's main church and in every place He visits, asking Him for prayers and even for blessing and anointing. Having a Father's heart, He has lovingly been a great comforter and counselor for several ministers, church workers, and congregations from various fellowships all over the world. And they gladly testified on how their lives were changed as they heard the powerful revelations and experienced the awesome miracles and the heavy anointing manifested through his life. During his travels in recent years, he has been warmly welcomed and accepted by government officials. TV personalities and the prominent servants of God in the body of Christ all over the world. His exemplary accomplishments earned him recognition plaques conferred by the Philippine National Police. and a number of premier awards bestowed by the ANAC TV Incorporated. The National Mother's Day and Father's Day Council and the Ideal Parents and Family Foundation, the Damayan Civic Alliance, the Global Excellence Awards Committee, and the Asia Pacific Awards Council, and the Dangal ng Bayan. His family a blessing to the world. Behind the success of the man of God is his blessed wife, the woman of God, Prophetess Elena Gacarillo, who has a gift of deliverance. and administration. Married in 1982. They have three anointed children, Raphael, Rachel, and Renata Jr., who are all working in the ministry.
The man of God is also a proud grandfather to four grandchildren. And together with his family, his supreme desire is to finish the perfect will of God. For all these achievements, the man of God humbly declares that these are just the outcome of his love for God and the grace of God in his life. And he gives back all the glory, honor, and thanksgiving to God alone forever and ever. Testimonies for the life of the man of God from the lips of different people. The man of God is such a blessing to the government officials. So, kitang-kita naman po, hindi lang sa ating uh, gawain dito sa PNP, pero yung gawain po sa kanyang uh, ministry sa telebisyon at sa buong bansa, na ang uh, pagproproclaim ng pangalan ng ating uh, Lord and Savior si Cristo, very humble ang spirit at very honest ang hangarin sa ating bansa at sa mamamayan at talagang mararamdaman mo yung uh, pag-ibig. He's really a uh, man of God. He cannot do all these things without having been uh, chosen by God. Modelo siya talaga ng uh, kabanalan at uh, yung kanyang pangaral ay uh, pambihira. No? Siya diyang tumitimo sa puso. Nagpapalakas ng loob. Apostle Carillo is uh, a down-to-earth, uh, sincere uh, preacher and uh, that's why he has the credibility. Siya ang isang uh, man of God na hindi lang sa salita kundi para sa gawa. Wala mang ginagawa yan, makita mo lang sa kilos at galaw niya, sa pakikipagkapwa-tao, ay makikita mo na na uh, napaka-godly nung tao. No? And if you're a godly person, whether you like it or not, the glory of God comes out from your personality. And it will affect people. Ang taong nasa Panginoon no, ay napakabangong tao, hindi lang literal, no? pati spiritual ho yan. Very attractive. And that... I see in the person and in the personality of Apostle Renato Carillo. Apostle, you know, is a man of God. He's a matured, in-depth Christian. Very, very biblical. In fact, eh, ang bayan dapat matutong makinig kay Apostle Carillo. Nagpapasalaban ako kay Pastor Carillo at dahil nga gumaan din ang kalubang ko. Nagbibira mga taong ganyan eh. So... Sana magkaroon pa ng maraming uh, Pastor Carillo sa buong mundo para maligtas tayo ng lahat. Si Apostle Carillo, ibang klase. Ang itsura niya lang, napakahuli niya. Para bang tingnan ka lang, para mahihil ka na kung meron kang sakit. Pati boses niya, so anointed. And uh, yung pagtuturo niya ay uh, totoong-totoo po na dapat isa puso natin dahil very anointed siya ng Panginoon. Siya na po uh, talagang isa sa sugo ng Panginoon para ang lahat ay bumalik sa naglalang po sa atin. He's great. Pero to lahat ng sinasabi niya, totoo eh. Sa kanya ko narinig yung mga talagang katotohanan na dapat talagang ihayag ang salita ng Diyos. The Lord is, uh, sa kanya, ibang klase siya. Talagang uh, alagad ng Diyos. The Jesus Our Shield Ministry is very blessed to have Apostle Renato Carillo and he's a very good man. He's an excellent model po sa mga tao dito sa mundo kasi yung sinasabi niya talaga is coming from the heart, not only from the mind. With the blessing of our Lord and also with the divine intervention that could also impart and uh, inganyo po niya ang mga tao po sa buong mundo na ito po ang message ng Panginoon, ito po ang tama at ito po ang dapat nating gawin. Ako po ay natutuwa na siya isang uh, alagad ng Diyos. He is a reformer na binigyan ng Diyos ng kaalaman upang bigyan ng tunay na kaalaman ng mamamayang Pilipino. Bilang isang Muslim, saludo po ako sa kanya. Nabebless po ang aming kapulisan sa kanyang mga gawain. At sana po mapatuloy po si Apostle Carillo sa kanyang gawain sa kapulisan. Marami kami pagkukulang ngunit sa gawain ni Apostle Carillo. Kami po'y magbabago para po mabago din ang pananaw ng taong bayan sa inyong kapulisan. He is a good apostle. He is really a good apostle of God. We need more of him because Apostle Carillo is really a man of God. I, I can see on him. Apostle Carillo ay a man of God. 
And the man of God is uh, guided by the Holy Spirit. Kaya lahat na sinasabi niya ay naniniwala ako. At isa pa na indicator na the man of God siya. Kung titignan mo ang kanyang mukha, naging intap. Maamo. Wala kang masasabi. Parang uh, walang problema o walang kasalanan. Out of the abundance of our heart, the mouth speak it. So makikita mo doon sa kay Apostle Carillo na maganda ang anong ang buhay niya at nagre-reflect doon sa kanyang mensahe. Uh, hindi lang sa salita ako, di eh. feel mo. He's a man of God. Uh, he inspires people. He inspires uh, the followers. The man of God is such a blessing to the TV personalities. Hindi lang yung sinabi niya yung inspiring. He himself is a very inspiring person kasi punong-puno ng laman tsaka katotohanan yung sinasabi niya. Pag nakikinig ka sa kanya, hindi lang niya yung sinasabi just for the sake of giving speech or uh, trying to convince people dahil nandiyan siya, nagsasalita siya sa harap natin. Pero talagang may pinagmumulan pinagbabasehan yung kanyang uh, sinasabi, yung kanyang pananalig, tsaka yung kanyang uh, yung relationship with God. Napamanood ko kasi sa, sa TV eh. Naiyak ako minsan sa ano niya eh. Apoy ng kanyang pagmamahal para sa bayan. Si Apostle Carillo is the epitome of a great man of God. Sapagat nakikita ko ang kanyang work ethic, nakikita ko ang fruits of his labor, ang paglago ng inyong iglesia. At uh, hindi matatawaran ang kanyang humility, napaka-humble niya, which is the mark of a true leader. Reverend Carillo is a very charismatic man. He was faithful to scripture. But one thing siguro that I saw of him is he's supportive of the youth. I, I believe he has a certain rapport with the youth. Kung sana mga audience namin would be like him, supportive, very spiritual and all. He's the type of person who grabs every opportunity to praise and thank God for everything and anything. And that's very noble and God likes that. Eh. Si Reverend, isang tao na nakakatulong sa atin, of course, through TV, through his church, nai-inspire tayo ng sobra. So what's nice about him is that gusto yung mong marinig siya because yung mga sinasabi niya, uh, nangyayari talaga sa buhay mo. Pag pinapanood mo siya, contagious yung paniniwala niya. He is such an inspiration. I would like to say, Kudos to him dahil sa maski saan dala-dala niya si Lord. Sharing the love of God to everyone. I can feel that the Lord is in him. I was stunned. Kumbaga sa mga artista, diba, nasa starstruck ka. Ako, nasa starstruck pa rin ako kay, ano, kay Apostle. Kasi nga, it's different when you see him on TV and in person. And while he's talking talaga, he really makes sense. Ang dami akong napulot. Lalo na at uh, magaling siya magkwento, hindi siya boring. Parang pinanday na siya ng panahon, pinanday siya ng mga karanasan sa buhay. Most experienced siya. Yun ang magaling magsalita. Yung pinaka maraming karanasan sa buhay. Kaya bilib ako kay Apostle Karim. The man of God is such a blessing to the body of Christ around the world. I witness the anointing power of the servant of the Lord, Apostol Carillo. He's a great servant of the Lord, being used mightily by God. He's really called by God. He's really a man of God. God is uh, doing something great in his life. Apostle Carillo is a man of God. God really is uh, talking to him. I like his spirit. Very down to earth in spite sa uh, you know, narating niya. For me, he's more than fulfilled person. He has achieved much and yet, still, and he stick to God's agenda. Saludo ako dyan. Very focused siya sa agenda ng Panginoon. And lastly, Apostle Carillo is a good friend. I believe that he's very sincere. He's very passionate in his calling to be the voice of God to our nation. Bihira na ngayon ang mga pastor na in any gathering, in our society, I very passionate pa rin na ipahayag ang gospel in a true form without compromising the essence of the gospel. May the Lord continue to bless Apostle Carillo. Anytime, whenever he speaks, he speaks the word of God because he is a man of God. Yan ang uh, undoubtedly is the very Apostle Renato Carillo. I praise the Lord that Apostle Carillo 
is being obedient to the call of God in his life. I was blessed. He is preaching the truth. And I am edified. I am revived. The Lord has truly touched me. And there is transformation in my heart. Kita ko yung eight strong spiritual qualities doon sa early Jerusalem Church. Eh, until now, nagmamanifest ito sa ministeryo ni Apostle Carillo. Nakita naman natin yung uh, signs and wonders, yung uh, anointing, healing, at uh, especially, siyempre, yung love. I see that he is one who will play a vital role in these end times considering the fact that uh, the man of God has a real love for the body of Christ. And I believe he should pursue unifying the body uh, in this end time. In spite of the fact na mataas yung tayo niya sa tingin ng tao, no, mga tagumpay na binigay sa kanya, eh, nakita ko yung kababaan ng kanya loob. Pangalawa, yung kanyang pagmamahal sa ating bansa. Nakita ko yung kanyang uh, kaisipan na hindi lumalabas sa tunay na pag-asa. He is one of the most misunderstood minister of the body of Christ. Okay? But if you know him, you will welcome him. Kaya ko welcome ko eh. Apostle Carillo is one of our uh, anointed evangelists, Filipino evangelists with signs and wonders and uh, has been consistently uh, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom of God sa ating bansa. So I respect him very much. Apostle Carillo was called and chosen by God for a divine purpose. Imagine a man without boasting any higher level of education. He is exactly like the unlearned, the uneducated apostles of Jesus Christ in the book of Acts. But they shook the world upside down for Christ. And then the people studied why. And they learned that these apostles of Jesus Christ were with Jesus. Do you know, Apostle Carillo has been walking with Jesus. And that is the number one credential of any servant of the Most High God. I salute the leadership of my dear friend, Apostle Carillo. Since the first day that I met him, I could feel the Holy Spirit, His anointing. I am so happy to learn a lot from the Apostle. He did a lot of miracles, he did a lot of signs, and he's a man of God. The presence of my brother Renato Carrillo, a man of God, is very strong in this city. We have two programs with him and the anointing of God is very, very strong. And I think and I feel that the presence of my brother uh, and the apostle Renato Carrillo was a tremendous time in my country. Really, really I bless God for the ministry of my brother, the apostle Renato Carrillo. Yes, apostle is uh, the friend of Royal Victoria and Noel. We love him. He has been here and uh, has done a fantastic work. We receive um, his um, apostleship, his teaching and his ministry. We love this wonderful ministry, ministry of prayer, intercession, and um, uh, a teaching of the Word of God. He's obviously uh, a true man of God, and uh, I've been watching his ministry over the years, and it's really been a great blessing to me. Um, I've really seen a lot of people's lives change, and especially my own wife, and uh, I really do appreciate his dedication to the Bible and teaching the truth from the Bible. I'm so blessed for what God has been using Apostle Renato to do worldwide. And I believe the Lord God will continue to use him. Being a man of God, I was also blessed by his uh, teaching and preaching. He's preached uncompromised word. He spoke so boldly that tears were flowing from many people. It was great blessing and breakthrough for this people. I myself was blessed, encouraged. I thank the Lord that uh, God sent his men. His anointed man is very powerful and is very anointed by God and God is using him. 
and thank the Lord for this great man of God for using him in these last days and give all, all the glory to God. Apostle Renato Di Carillo is such a blessing to the world.